too. We're of course gonna go water. Now I'm so fucking pretty! Being pretty isn't everything, especially out of lane where no one can see you. But can Lux be a viable source of damage and support from the jungle? Stay tuned to find out in the second episode of Will It Lux? AP Jungle. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Swigger, that of course is Lola, and we are back with another League of Legends video and a very exciting League of Legends video because it is the second installment of my Will It Lux series. Um, we're going to be playing Lux in the jungle. Um, it's going to be a little bit more standard in terms of going more AP jungle oriented rather than like AD, which would be really off meta. We'll save that for another Will at Lux. But this series, of course, Lux being my main champion, I'm trying to decide whether or not it will, in fact, Lux. So... I'm pretty excited about Lux in the jungle. I've been playing her a little bit now. I find that she's actually really strong. Um, I am, of course, in terms of runes, I'm running Meteor, Mana Flow Band, Celerity, and then Gathering Storm. And then I've gone for Perfect Timing and Cosmic Insight with additional CDR, Ability Power, and Health. Um, her overall clear in the jungle in the early um, goings of things isn't fantastic. Um, I find that it gets a lot better once you get that runic echoes because um, you have a little bit more of that AoE But in terms of like a mage jungler, I actually don't think that she's really that bad um, I basically try to um, Get my uh, my binding down get the auto attack to get my uh, my passive off and then use the slow from my loosened singularity um, To buy a little bit more time so um, you'll kind of see it's it's definitely not the worst It's definitely not the best either, but you know, it's you get through the early goings of things and you feel pretty decent about yourself Stop hitting my damn support. Um, the last time that I played this, I went up against an Udyr. And the guy completely wrecked my face at that first Scuttle Crab. So I don't even think I'm going to go for that. Um, in terms of who we got in the game, Shen versus Wukong up at the top. Lux versus Skarner in the jungle. Zed versus Yasuo in the mid lane. And then Misfortune Pike versus Kaisa Nami. Um, so definitely some interesting lanes. Um, some very aggressive lanes, I would say. So, as you guys can see, just gonna kind of use the slow from the Lucent Singularity to hold it back a little bit. Um, still gonna take a few solid hits from this guy. But this is kind of the way that you want to kite, um, while you're playing Lux Jungle. I think I'm gonna smite the blue buff and then go for the crab. But see, like, overall, so there's there's a pretty solid clear, and we haven't really taken that much damage. And, oh, shit, get in the first blood on Wukong. I love it. That's what I like to see. Um, there's some terrifying lanes here. Like, it just seems to be, it's like, it's one of those games where whoever gets ahead early, I think it's just going to snowball like crazy. Like, Zed versus Yasuo. <laughs> Shen, to be honest, depending on how he plays, if he plays pretty aggressively, then he could definitely dominate this Wukong. But it's kind of the same thing with Wukong, of just like, if he starts doing well, good luck. So I'm curious as to whether or not this Wukong actually... Oh, that was a binding! Oh, God, I feel so bad for him. God, I feel really bad for that guy, man. It's just... That's, that's the, like, the worst feeling <laughs> being a top laner is when you use your... Oh, he didn't have TP, but when you die first and then you come back to lane and you die again. Like, that just... It's just a raw bad feeling. Smite that guy down. Um... So now, yeah, Shen's 1-0-1. One, one. I've got one kill myself. That was my first kill of the game. Um, I didn't get my second proc off on me. Oh, oh, there he is. I mean, thanks. Light 
Okay. I think I'm actually just going to go B here. Unfortunately, the bot lane just kind of got a bit wrecked, um, which is not great. I'm going to max my E first just because of my main source of damage. You're pretty much building Lux the same way that you would build her in the, um, the mid lane. Um, you're just building a little bit more jungle-oriented oh, items. So a couple more control wards, wards to be a little bit more supportive to your team. But then we're going Runic Echoes rather than the... Um, the Luden's Echo. Um, but it's all then pretty much similar. Against this team, I'm 100% going to be going for a Zonia's Hourglass because I don't want to get caught out by a Yasuo or Wukong or anything like that. Okay. So, I think I'm going to go and take my Gromp and then I might look to invade um, the Skarner jungle. Or I might just look to get another kill on this um, Wukong. Even though I feel bad about doing it, I would rather uh, make sure that my Shen is good and fed. So that way I don't have to carry. You know? Sometimes you gotta think about yourself. Ooh, the Wukong is back. Oh, how did that not hit? I'll lead the way to victory. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted that that one didn't pan out. Good job. Oh, <laughs> This Skarner freaking... It was almost cool. It was. It was. <laughs> that was almost... That's literally the summation of my entire journey in the Will of Luck series is that was almost cool. <laughs> so at least the Skarner flashed. I just needed to get that last freaking auto attack. Like, it was really cool because we got the uh, the Shen um, ultimate on me. Um, so I got to dive a little bit there. And I landed a really good binding. Um, we got the damage off. But then I just needed that last auto attack on him um, to proc my passive. But unfortunately, he was just that little bit too far away. And I just ended up suiciding under the turret and giving him a sh I don't think I gave him a shutdown, did I? I might have given him a shutdown. Okay, I think I've got to go and give bot lane a little bit of love. Uh-oh. I mean, the misfortune still got her. Uh-oh. Does anybody want to, like, we can go, <laughs> we can fight that, guys. <laughs> like, fucking, what? <laughs> 3v2 and Zed ult up. Like, what are we, what are we playing so passively against? That makes just zero sense to me. A candle in the dark. Like, we had Pike and Zed there. Zed has his ultimate up. Everybody's at pretty much full health. It's just the Skarner and the Yasuo. And Zed and Pike are running away and letting me die. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? But okay. That's how they want to play it. That's cool. I guess we'll play it like that then. I have my ultimate as well. So, like, all I really needed was a stun from the, uh, the Pike. And we might have been able to get a double kill there, but... It was still a pretty good fight for us. Uh, because we got a kill onto the Kai'Sa and the Nami. But, just could have been better, you know? Oh, 
Oh, you've got to... How did it hit that? Failure is not an option. That's just tilting. Like, I don't even understand how it would hit that minion. I actually thought that that was a perfect binding. But my fucking thing went to the minion on the side, so... Buds. Damn. Don't let my sunny disposition fool you. Had I known that the Skarner was coming up there. I really just wanted to see if the uh, the Wukong was really stupid and decided to be in that little brush there. But unfortunately, he didn't. But we're 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. We're, of course, going to go water. Now I'm so fucking pretty! Okay. I think I'm just going to go B because I can actually get my um, Runic Echoes, which... You'll see, it makes a big difference. Mana regen, additional AoE. It's a good feeling to have this completed. So I'm thinking I gotta go towards the bot lane. Wukong actually um, got that kill onto the Shen, which is great for us because that means that his gold reset. So that guy's now worth money again. So I kind of want to go up top and kill him again. Um, seems pretty even in most lanes, actually. Okay. So what are we gonna do? Oh, Pike. I'm a coming, boy. Wow, that's tilting. Okay, we all dodged that. Oh, this is actually really good. Oh, there we go. Okay, that works. So the flash play didn't work. I wish it did, because that would have looked really cool. But all we needed to do was get that E down, and we kind of, as you can see, he couldn't really run into the E because I was probably going to kill him. But that gave us enough time um, for the misfortune to get the ulti off. We just kind of, like, lured him into a really bad spot. Oh, God. Let my shield hit. God. The people who don't run into the second part of my shield, I just hate it. it drives me nuts. I am out of mana. Don't lead the- Why lead them to the bush? <laughs> oh, I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, I actually went B. Oops. <laughs> I actually thought that I had cancelled my B in time, and I was like, oh, maybe I can get my ultimate off. Oh, I'm actually glad I did not cancel my B. Oh, you guys are fucked. I mean, we got a kill. Don't know how the misfortune's still alive. Okay, Nami Flash. That's a thing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, unfortunately, misfortune died as well. You know, things that can happen. Um, I think they might go for the dragon here. Yeah. The lucky thing is, I'm playing Lux. And Lux is actually very good at stealing dragons. Okay. I can't believe they actually stopped it. Really? Over that? <laughs> Alright. I'll take it. 
So they didn't go for the dragon, which is very good. Nice wind wall. Ooh. Can't argue with that. That's just some good old fashioned Yasuo mechanics. Let's get a big board down and try to help my team out. And ooh, there's a blue buff. Hello, buddy. Oh, and Shen with the nice ulti. And the cool thing is that I'm near the top side, so even if Wukong pushes this, there's not going to be any pressure on our turret. Shen's playing a pretty mean ass Shen, I've got to say. Okay. So we could aim for the Rift Herald. That's a thing that we could try. I'm not liking that they've got two people in the mid lane though, so I think I kind of want to go and deal with that. I've got my stopwatch available now as well. I don't think this Yas was going to stay. Water carves away because he's a coward. A coward and a thief. I mean, we know where he is now. I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh, that was my bad. I didn't I don't even think I could land in one of my uh my cues. Probably wouldn't fight this hour, you guys. Well, pike resets though. Pike resets though. Thank you. Pike resets, though. See? See? That's what the team can do. That's that's what Pike is. What a fun, balanced, good champion. You know? Did they get the dragon? Ah, oh, they got the dragon, too. Damn, that sucks. So just the bot lane went and did the dragon, which is really freaking unfortunate. So yeah, I think, did Pike get like a quadra there? Something like that. That's going to be a lot of gold for everybody, which is really, really nice for our team. So even though that was a pretty ugly start to the fight. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We're so close. Yeah, we're so far. I mean, at least, at least I hit somebody with the ult. I just really wanted that Nami. I was hoping that she was just going to be right there. There's still so much. Easy. <laughs> you didn't win well that one, did you, sucker? Okay, so it's 20 to 13. We're 2, 3, and 6. I'm definitely not particularly happy with my score. I feel like I could be doing a lot better. But, you know, once again, it's one of those, like, I think the game has been a pretty good overall. We've, we've got pressure where we needed it. Some questionable team plays, but... So far, we're happy with the way the Lux jungle is panning out. Oh, gotta go help my pike. Or... Ugh! Come on! Come on! <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness that panned out. I was going to be tilted. But luckily that actually worked. It, it was, I think I needed to make that flash play because if I saw them both go that way and I thought I was going to be able to land a double binding there and then the, uh, the pike would have been able to go to town, but... Fortunately enough, they kind of tapered back, which also worked, because it just meant that they had nowhere to run. Okay, and I got one second on my ulti. Okay, so they got the Rift Herald, but the thing is, like, good for you getting the Rift.
Ice mode, activate! Okay, I think I'm just gonna be two, three, and eight. So I'm definitely playing a little bit more of a supportive Lux jungle role, it seems. But once again, I'm not I'm not particularly complaining about that. I'm just gonna sell this because I'm not even gonna really use it. Um, I'm not complaining about that. I'm still doing quite a bit of damage, and the shields are doing great. Um, compared to the two, three, and five of Skarner. So I got three more assists than he does. So, got fucked. Um, I, I don't think my damage is going to be as high as I want at this game. Um, Why does everyone but I think let's I have take the red buff. Blue is all yours, big boy. Oh ho ho ho! Uh -oh. Come on! He didn't even know that I was there. That was beautiful. He started summoning the Rift Herald and we just absolutely decimated them. God, that just felt right. Okay, so the ocean. Oh, but there it is. GG well played to the enemy team. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that game go any further than 21 minutes, but 3-3-10 three, three, and 10 for Lux. I think Lux jungle. Will it Lux? Absolutely, but stay tuned for the end of this video because we're going to go through the damage charts and see just how much we did. So in terms of the end game screen, we went 3-3-10, three, three, and 10. only 92 CS, so I definitely could have done better in the CSing department. Um, but they did have a pretty aggro team, and we got some really good early ganks off on the uh, the Wukong and also onto the uh, the Yasuo. But in terms of the overall damage, actually, you know, not nearly as bad as I thought. So 9,000 damage, it was only a 21-minute game. I wish the game would have gone longer to see what she could really do later on. But, like, 11,000 damage on the Misfortune, the Chen at 9,400. Like, really not bad. Definitely managing to keep up with our damage dealers and uh, actually provide some pretty good support to the team. So, hopefully you all enjoyed that Will It Lux video. I think Lux Jungle definitely will Lux. So, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your suggestions below of what you want me to try next. And I will see you all in the next video.